second, but you know, there's a bunch of other things going on in the world of movies and entertainment that we don't have time to make main topics, but I want to make sure you guys are caught up to date with everything that's going on, so we put together this little segment for you called The Movie News Feed. Check it out. First up, Bohemian Rhapsody was a major success last year, earning nearly $900 million at the worldwide box office on just a $52 million budget. The film won 12 awards from seven different ceremonies, including four Academy Awards, one of which included Best Actor for Rami Malek for his portrayal of Queen frontman Freddie Mercury. All of this success, though, did not guarantee the film an audience in China, and many wondered if it would screen there at all. Entertainment Weekly reports, in 2016, Chinese censors banned the portrayal of anything they deemed quote-unquote abnormal sexual behavior, including same-sex relationships in films and television. Well, the film did screen in China, except it was missing a few key portions, namely any scenes with references to Mercury's sexuality or explicit physical contact between men have been removed. Despite these edits, China's LGBTQ community is declaring it a victory that this film has played there at all. Still, many people feel that the film failed to fully portray Mercury's sexuality if it can be erased by a few edits. Next up, when Godzilla returns later this year, he will be defending his title of King of the Monsters against foes such as Rodan and King Ghidra. Mothra will also be making an appearance in the film, but what about the other famous kaiju from Godzilla's 65-year career? From Cinema Blend, speaking about monsters that aren't in the movie, O'Shea Jackson Jr., who plays one of the soldiers in the film and is a big Godzilla fan, recently said, I'm gonna tell you about my most feared Godzilla monster. One time as a kid, Godzilla Godzilla was about to die and it was Gigan. Gigan is a real problem, so I hope we don't see him because this is going to be way worse nowadays. But you know, Mechagodzilla, Mechagodzilla is like a hidden gem right now. O'Shea Jackson Jr. said that Mechagodzilla is a hidden gem? Maybe he simply likes the character, or maybe he is implying something more. It makes sense to hold off on more monsters for future franchise installments. King Kong and Godzilla will battle in 2020, and we could see some other creatures from that film. Godzilla King of the Monsters hits theaters on May 31st. Next up, Michael B. Jordan has a full slate of films and TV appearances over the next couple of years. We can now add one more to the list of projects for the Black Panther and Creed star, as Variety reports Jordan will produce and star in a Methuselah movie for Warner Brothers, based on the biblical story of a man who lived to be 969 years old. Warner Brothers has been developing the project for many years with Will Smith and Tom Cruise interested in the project. Michael Clayton, Rogue One scribe, and younger brother of writer-director Dan Gilroy, Tony Gilroy, has penned the latest script. Methuselah is referenced in the book of Genesis as the son of Enoch, who lived to be 365 years old. So far, the scripts have focused on Methuselah's survival skills. Next up, if you're a fan of MTV's Awkward, which ran for five seasons, and Netflix's On My Block, which will be launching its second season this month, then this news is for you. Lauren Lungrich, the creator of the aforementioned shows, has been selected to direct I Won't Be Home for Christmas for Miramax, a film Lungrich has also written. In addition to writing and directing the film, Lungrich is producing I Won't Be Home for Christmas alongside Eli Roth. From Deadline, the plot centers on a 16-year-old Grace, who's given the golden ticket to forego having to spend the holidays with her crazy family and instead go skiing with her new boyfriend, Tad. When Tad unceremoniously breaks up with her before the trip, Grace must return home humiliated with a broken heart to endure her embarrassing family and their ludicrous traditions. Production on the film is slated for June. And finally, it's been 28 years since Clueless Rockers Bill S. Preston Esquire and Ted Theodore Logan graced the silver screen in 1991's Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey. A standout character from that film was the Grin Reaper, played by William Sadler, most notably from the Shawshank Redemption, Die Hard 2, and more recently as President Ellis in Iron Man 3. It has recently been reported that Keanu Reeves and Alex Winter will be reprising their roles in the upcoming Bill and Ted Face the Music. Now, JoeBlow.com reports that William Sadler will also be reprising his role as the Grim Reaper. The Bill and Ted 3 Twitter account confirmed the report, posting this tweet which reads, For those who have been asking, at William Sadler will totally be reprising his role. 
The synopsis for the film reads like this. When we last met Bill and Ted, they were time-traveling teenagers trying to pass history class and win the Battle of the Bands. Once prophesied to save the universe with their rock and roll, middle age and the responsibilities of family have caught up with these two best friends who have not yet fulfilled their destiny. They've written thousands of tunes, but they have yet to write a good one, much less the greatest song ever written. With the fabric of time and space tearing around them, a visitor from the future warns our heroes that only their song can save life as we know it. Out of luck and fresh out of inspiration, Bill and Ted set out on a time travel adventure to seek the song that will set their world right and bring harmony in the universe as we know it. Together with the aid of their daughters, a new crop of historical figures, and some sympathetic music legends, Bill and Ted find much, much more than just a song. Bill and Ted Face Music hits theaters on August 21st, 2020. And that'll do it for today's installment of the Movie News Feed.